Uh, I'm going to walk you through step by step what it looks like to bubble wrap a six by six by 16 greenhouse and get it prepared for my seedlings. They're going to be starting up here soon. So with that, let's get into it. All right. Well, first things first, uh, I had to clear everything out of the greenhouse. Had to get all of this stuff here out of there. We'll be talking about more of that stuff in a second, but did want to mention this one thing. I'll have a future video on what I'm going to use these for. These are all the stalks from my sunflowers that I kept over the winter. So they've hardened up. They're nice and solid, but I, but I reuse these every year. So anyways, uh, on to our next piece here, which is talking about the equipment that I'll be using to get this done. So now onto the equipment that I'll be using. So with this, let's start with the bubble wrap. We got 700 square feet. That should easily cover a six by six by 16 greenhouse. So this stuff works really good. It's the smaller pieces, it's inexpensive. Uh, it's got a UV treatment on it, so it'll be just fine. Something you wanna keep an eye on. It's not required, but it does help. All right, and then the next is gonna be these clips. They look this right here. They got a little uh, narrow edge and a wide edge. And what they do is they go right here into the groove that you have in your aluminum and they hold in right there. So you can see it just kind of snaps in. What we're gonna do is you'll see it with the plastic how it works. Uh, and then of course, gotta have scissors to be able to cut everything to length. And I'll have some other stuff with some tape later, just kind of touch up those other pieces. The next piece here is a quick little tour of the greenhouse, uh, six by six by 16. And I got this off of Wayfair. It was, I wanna say about $600 uh, on sale. You know, they always do the little sales they have. I kind of had nine, a couple of them, and this one popped up. So just wanna show you, um, we'll go for a quick walk around the outside. You see, so it's got a nice little entry door there. It's got a little hook. Uh, it's got four different, uh, basically, areas for vent here that you can pop these up. And, you know, basically for vintage, they work great. Lots of cross supports here. On the corners, these posts that they have down here, they go down about a foot. And I've got cement. I uh, just use red bag cement for those. Those of you who don't know about red bag cement, the stuff's wonderful. Highly recommend it. So these are UV treated as far as the panels here on either side and they have air pockets inside of them so they do offer some insulation and then at the here you know this clear stuff that's got nothing to it and you know you look at this thing this is a solid greenhouse it made it through a two and a half foot snowpack on the top there this winter we're here in northern michigan multiple gusts over uh 50 60 miles an hour and i was worried i was gonna lose like some of these vents here and I had no issue whatsoever. I came out here and things were fine. Matter of fact, if you look at some of my shorts, there's pictures of me actually chilling out here during the winter, getting sunshine and enjoying the weather. So all things considered, this has been a great little investment. Uh, so if you're looking to get and you look at a greenhouse and you got the space, definitely looking to get one. So with that uh, quick little tour inside, so you can see it comes with all the good little support beams. Down here, I put just put down some OSB for now, I'll have another video where I come in and I'm gonna put uh, tiles down here, ceramic tiles to uh, help with the heat as well. So those warm up during the day and then slowly release heat back out to help maintain of the greenhouse. So uh, other thing is, I think just get used to if you have a greenhouse. I had a little visitor because I did have sunflowers last year and heads all over the place. I had a little visitor, a little field mouse was in here when I first started clearing everything out. Uh, for anyone's concerned, I made sure I got him and him or her, I didn't give it a full check, but him or her placed it at the field across the street. So off living its best life somewhere. And with that, let's start bubble wrapping. So the best method for this is to start at the top, work your way down. And I'm gonna show you the method that I use. I'm gonna get a measurement from the top, run the roll all the way down to the bottom, get that measurement, double it over on itself, pin it at the top and the middle, and then connect both sides all at the same time. Less cuts, and frankly, it's to be better. So let me show you how I do that. All right, so I got my clip here. And again, I got aluminum runs right to the top there. We're just going to push this piece in right about here. All right, give it a little twist. There, it's being held up. So I'm just gonna walk this all the way down. Again, doesn't have to be exact here, folks, but again, you don't want to waste your materials. Now I'm going to go just down to the ground level. So I got my mark here. Which I'm going to make with a tiny little mark here just so I have it. There you go, got the rip. So that's my halfway point. Now with my roll, I'll show you what that looks like. So 
I've got my mark right down here, my little rip that I made. You know, I'm just gonna put my scissors down here. That's my halfway mark. Walk this other spot over here. Now, that's got my, what should cover the full length of this thing. Gonna give it a quick, I know I'm off camera here, folks. Give it a quick cut. And now I have one length here, which I'm just gonna put up real quick, just to give it a test measure. And then once that's up, I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting a whole bunch of these. So that way I can just knock them out in rapid succession. All right, so I've got the first one up in here. And what you wanna do is you just wanna follow the seam and overlap just a little bit the bubble wrap. You know, you go as far as you think you need to and then maybe just bring it back a little bit. Again, the goal here is to have coverage. You're not looking for like a full hermetic seal here or anything, folks. You're simply just trying to help out with the insulation where you're at. Now, it's, if you've never used these clips before in your greenhouse, again, I'll, I have a link to everything in the descriptions. Uh, they're fantastic. You can use them for everything. They got these little, you know, we'll get a close up here again, a look them here, but they got these little, these little loops on them that you can uh, use different wire to connect to, all sorts of stuff. They're great. All right, so now I'm down to the bottom here. I've got a bottom and I got a little bit of hang over at the bottom. We'll take a look at it. So now it's on to the second side here. Let me just zip through. Same thing. I do this. This here. And we're gonna talk about the windows here in a second too, the vents. Don't think I'm not gonna cover that. That is gonna be a topic of discussion. All right, moving along. Pretty good here. This last two, I can kind of space out because frankly, they're gonna be hanging, look at that. And just a little bit of overhang. So that's the first one there you can see. Yep, got this little spot here. And again, there'll be some tape used to hold, hold these together at the seams. If you wanna get the wider stuff, you can. Um, again, I, I went and found this. This was, I've used this in the past and it's worked out really well, especially when I have uh, a piece that you know, frankly, get snagged somewhere. I'm only replacing a small section and having to pull over a big piece or whatever happens to be. So with that, all right, well, I have a lot of cutting, measuring and clipping to do. Uh, I'll come back in a little bit and catch up on the progress. So I have the first pieces up and I just want to show you what the process looks like. All right, so as I mentioned, I got the clips here. You can see I've got them overlapped, the pieces. Let's get this in a little bit better. All right, so these are overlapped and clipped in. And then all I do is I just put a tiny little bit of tape a few spots down just to have it set up. So at the bottom here, and this is important, make sure those are loose. And the reason is you're gonna have at times condensation showing up around here and you do not want it building up behind here. All right, that gets gross, it gets nasty. Yes, something you don't want. All right, and then just any area where you have an overlap where you can't clip, just throw a little bit of tape on there. You're not looking for anything too crazy. Now, what I wanted to show you in this area here, let me back it up some for you, right? This is where the vent's at. So what I do is I actually, I'm gonna leave these loose, come over it. So that way, if I do need to basically vent it, I can still hop in behind here, pop it open, and the air will still be able to escape. But with the vent down, that's gonna give enough insulation uh, to where it won't be too big of an issue. And with that, I'm gonna finish up these upper areas here, all the way down the sides, and then we'll get into the end caps. So about 45 minutes into the project, maybe 50 minutes. See, so moving along nicely here. Biggest thing here is just take your time and get things right. You can see where I had one mismeasurement here, right? It wasn't actually a mismeasurement. I just pulled too much over to one side, that's okay. So you can do this, where I had a huge mismeasurement. You just cut it off from the other side, bring it over, tape it on. Easy peasy. See you after the break.
So I have got the main portion of the greenhouse done. As you can see everything top to bottom along the side here is complete. And any place that I have a vent, I've left it kind of open so I can get into it, but it is crossed over. I'll tell you what's crazy and I forgot about this is that just how quickly it warms up in here when you do this. About three quarters of the way through here, I was like, well, this started happening where I started like, oh man, it's working. So with that, I'm going to start on the end pieces here. And it's about as easy as you think it's going to be. We're going to be draping from the top down, make a few cuts, clip it on where we can, tape it on for the rest. Here we go. Here I am in the future. This part's done. Things to note, just you probably weren't able to see in that quick time lapse there was on the corners, take your time, just make sure it's overlap, take time to tape them. Same thing over here, not necessarily looking for pretty functional first. You can always come back and retape it later. But again, take your time. Well, time to start on the door. everything is all set here it is right, you can see all the wrap has been through here you'll notice a few air gaps are still here and those will be taken care of with some tape so check it out from the inside again everything is all set things prepped again as i mentioned i let this go down at the bottom here just a little bit it doesn't hurt to have that little bit of overhang uh you know i'll clean the rest of that up later once i get everything else back in we'll go from there all right, well, that takes care of insulating my greenhouse, the six by six by 16 greenhouse that I had with bubble wrap. Took a little over a little over two hours and 45 minutes, almost three hours to do total. Um, and I still probably have another 20 minutes worth of work getting everything back in here. So with that, hang tight. My next video, I will be covering how I use my sunflower stalks in that garden right there. We'll see you next time.